Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to put a watermark in your pictures to protect them. Now, to my fans out there, I know I've already done this uh, tutorial before, but I'm just remaking it so it's uh, better quality and better sound so people can understand it better. Uh, now, if we jump into the actual tutorial, there is a few things I have changed from my original tutorial. So, let's jump into things. So, this is another image here that I have took. Now, first things first is we're going to go to the Actions tab. So if you can't find it, you go to Windows and then you go to Actions. Now you'll get this little box that comes up on the right hand side or wherever you've uh, originally put it. And we're going to go and click on the new Actions tab, which is on the bottom right hand side of this little box right here. And we're just going to click that and you'll get this come up. So we're going to name the action Watermark like that and we're going to press record now when we record all our clicks and all our actions are actually going to be recorded and it's all going to be bunged into one so when we come back to do it again all we have to do is press the play button and it will be carried out as normal so we're just going to shut that down right there and we're going to go to the text tool so this little icon on the left hand side click that and we're just going to put that on our image and I'm just going to scale uh, the size down to 180. You can have it any uh, size that you wish. Um, it doesn't have to be the same size, doesn't have to be the same sort of font. I'm just going for Times New Roman as well. You can change all the fonts at the top and the size at the top also. So we're going to type in uh, whatever your name that you want to be or copyright. So for me, it would be Photoshop and you'll be wanting the copyright symbol now I know a lot of people uh, on my original pic, uh, original video sorry um, couldn't understand me so I'm gonna try and work it out better so you hold down the alt key on your keyboard and you want to make sure that you've got your uh, number pad uh, your number lock selected so you can actually click on the number pad as it won't work on the top keys so hold down alt and the buttons you're going to need to click is 0 1 6 9 and you'll get the copyright symbol now we're just going to go to the move tool at the top on the left hand side and we're just going to position this and uh, you can do wherever you want to position it on your picture now that looks okay to me now now what we need to do is we're going to put a effects on it so we go down to the bottom right hand side and press the little FX button here and we're going to put a drop shadow on it and we're going to bring the distance all the way down to 0 or 1 that'll do, 1, let's change that and the next bit we're going to press bevel and emboss you want to make sure that you've got inner bevel selected the depth is going to be 100% and I'm going to change the size to 29 so there and then we're going to go and click OK now from here we want to change the fill to 20% or around that and we're going to change the opacity to 80 so around there now from here you don't have to do the next step as I'm going to resize the image now my image is high resolution now if I was to put this on my website I wouldn't actually need a high resolution image or if I'm sending it to people just for them to look at they don't actually need a high resolution image either so that's why we're going to scale it down so if you don't need to scale it down with your image or if you don't have a high resolution image you don't need to do this step so you can just stop this uh, bit just cut this bit out and follow on from the next bit so if you are following on from this bit here so we're going to scale it down all you have to do is go to image image size and then we're just going to hit resample image make sure that's checked on 
and we're going to change the resolution to 72 and the width to 1000 and then click OK. Now that's scaled our image down see as it's dropped in quality so people can't obviously um, steal your work but as I said to people before if you don't need to rescale it down don't worry you can carry on from this step onwards which I'm going to show you next so we're going to go back to our actions tab so windows actions and as you see it's still recording so we can stop recording by the little square box on the side click that and basically there we go we've stopped uh, the recording and we have our action now if we was to go on to multiple images and you know we wanna instead of going through all that process again we can just go and let me just delete this my old work so this is a say this is a new image we go to our actions tab windows and actions you click on the watermark uh, action that we just made and you press the play button press the play button and it's carried out and it's put in my watermark Photoshop Pro copyright symbol and it's resized the picture down now for the people that didn't need to do the resize obviously I did do the resize because I have a high resolution image you wouldn't need to do the resize so all you would find is that the copyright symbol and your name or whatever you put on there has actually gone to the actual image now another thing I want to say is when you're positioning your text in your image you want to make sure that it's over the most detailed part of your image so when someone goes to um, you know try and steal your image or whatever and they try and take out the copyright symbol they're gonna have a hard uh, lot of trouble um, to actually take it out because it's already etched into the detail of the actual image so that's uh, one thing that you need to remember also so that's about it for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next tutorials bye for now Hey guys, just as an extra bonus to this tutorial, um, some people actually have problems um, trying to make the watermark, uh, the ghost um, copyright. So what I thought is I'd might actually make the actions. Now in these actions you can just download them from my website which is in the source files and the link is going to be in the description bar so you can go and download that. And what you can uh, then do is load them into Photoshop. There's a couple of ways of loading them if you don't know how to do it. You can either drop them in the My Programs file, Actions folder, or you can actually go to Actions in Photoshop, so it's Windows, Actions, and then you can go to this little drop down menu here, which is on the bot or top right hand side, sorry, and then you can go to Load Actions and find it wherever you saved it or you can actually just click on the action itself when you've actually downloaded it and it'll open actions and it'll be already loaded into Photoshop now there are two actual actions I'm going to be giving you now there's going to be the first action which is uh, watermark 2 or I might rename it and call it watermark 2 without resize so it pretty much says what it um, does what it says so the first one is going to be without the resize for people that don't need to resize their image down um, for people that don't actually have um, a high definition image or just don't want the resize in general or you have the next watermark with the resize and it resizes your image down um, so you can distribute it to people for them to look at so it's not in the best quality so they don't actually get your work now when you do this you click on the watermark that you want so say this one without the resize uh, we'll click the play button and it'll do it and this is what you'll actually get you'll just get the symbol the copyright symbol because some people have a problem with actually making it um, and all you have to do you might want to put your own um, business name or whatever you want to put in it you double click the actual text uh, layer in the layers panel and you either click either side of the actual copyright symbol 
and you put whatever you want so a photo or whatever and then you can just place it in um, your pictures so uh, I hope this helps people um, for people that want to know uh, what you'll get with the watermark resize is you'll get let me just take that away you'll get let me just play the next watermark is you'll get this it'll resize the image down as I said and you'll get the little symbol as well so I hope this helps you guys and please go and download it and comment and rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorials.